I mean, look at the, I mean, look at that cabin filter. Never, ever been changed. It was stuck in there. I had to break the tabs to get it to come out. Um, I've already shook it out and emptied it, but that's like mouse bones and fur. I mean, it had nuts, uh, acorns, sticks. I mean, no wonder it ruined the damn blower motor in that Kia. Jeez, I mean, 63 service records on the Carfax and nobody can change a cabin filter? Give me a break. What's up guys, Joe with Joe's Gold Garage here, coming to you with another one today. This is another auction score I picked up. Um, this is a 2008 Kia Optima. 2008 Kia Optima, just got it. I haven't pulled the stickers off. This is a new car trade-in at the Kia store here in Chattanooga. And it has 183,000 miles. And this little baby is a little gem. Uh, it sold really cheap because uh, when I was checking it out, I couldn't get the AC blower to come on and I don't guess anyone else could either. So everybody was, you know, worried, oh, it's got AC problems, blah, blah, blah. Well, let's get this thing on the interstate. This is a V6, by the way. Kind of hard to find. You don't see many of these Optimas in a V6. This is an EX V6 with leather, heated seats. Just loaded up, man. Um, got a nice Kenwood aftermarket radio in there, which that's a, just a big bonus. I just want to get her out on the freeway. I haven't had her out here yet. But no, no one really bid on it, I guess because uh, the AC wasn't coming on. It had a check engine light as well, which I cured, or at least I think I did. Uh, gas cap, can you believe it? <laughs> Actually worked on a check engine light for once. Uh, it, it does happen. Uh, a gas cap will fix a stop in uh, check engine light from time to time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is a little darling. Um, what sold me on this car, uh, is not the fact that it's triple black. That kind of sucks because the paint, um, and I'll do a walk around. The paint has started to, uh, turn white and kind of deteriorate. I am going to polish it and see if I can get it looking better. But, uh, the hood is like chalky white, but... What was awesome about this car is I pulled the car facts and it was a two owner car with 63 service records on the car facts. That is like a record for me. I have never seen a car with that many uh, service records on the car facts. That's just, I mean, that's just crazy to me. Um, and timing belt, has been done on it. It was done at around right at 100k, so it has 183,000 now. So, you know, it's going to need it again sooner than later. Um, but just the fact that you know it was maintained and maintained very, very well. This car started its life out in Bradenton, Florida. Probably an older person owned it because the oil changes were done about every 2,000 miles um, and the mileage was put on the car very slowly. It wasn't until the second owner did the miles start really adding up so I'm sure that's what uh, what that's all about. Um, with the uh, oil changes done um, so frequently but I think t uh, they did it within the time frame allotted, you know, how you got so many months or whatever uh, recommended on your oil changes, which I think is a bunch of hocus pocus, but oh well, whatever. I'm glad to see they serviced it. Um, got this car cheap, y'all. I mean, I, I, too cheap for me to even say <laughs> because it is for sale. <laughs> it will be for sale. Um, 
probably $39.95 will buy this one. I'm going to wax it up, uh, give it an oil change, and as you can see, it is strong, um, and everything works on it. All the power windows work, the power locks, uh, the power moonroof. Yeah, it's got a power moonroof. Oh, I just noticed a little American flag there. Whoever owned this car was a big uh, gun uh, person because there's a lot of decals on the back about your gun rights, which, hey, I don't disagree with that to some extent. Um, but yeah, so probably a super conservative person to own this car. Uh, I'm just glad they took care of it and traded it in with a uh, dang blower motor not working. And what that was, was the cabin filter had never been changed, y'all. Never been changed. I'll try and insert the video of the cabin filter. It had nuts and acorns and, I mean, I think there was even like mouse fur and little mouse bones in there. Never been changed. And it had uh, clogged up the blower motor. Um, I went ahead and ordered a new blower motor because I just knew this one was toast. Um, but today when I got in it, I cranked it up, turned on the AC, and the fan came on. So I think I picked enough nuts and stuff out of the damn blower that it still works. I can't believe it. I'm shocked. So, um, but it's got a decent set of tires on it. Um, again, runs and drives really well. Um, I would like this car if I didn't already have my Azera. Um, I would probably buy this one to, I mean, keep this one to drive for a while. But, um, it's, it's, it's a good one, but it's still not as good as my Hyundai Azera. That thing is a peach. So, anyway, I'll get a walk around in just a second. A little walk around on the 08 Kia. There's the hood, as you can see what I'm talking about. You think I'm going to be able to polish any of that out? I mean, it feels pretty smooth, but I guess the clear coat is burnt off. I just don't know. I'm going to clay bar it, and I'll do a soft polish just in case, you know, it's just real thin paint. But worst case scenario, I sell it just like that. I mean, it's a cheap car and it'll be reliable for somebody for, in, you know, for very little money. I mean, it's got a dang new set of tires on it, cold air, 63 service records on the Carfax. I mean, it's been super maintained. Uh, yeah, here we go. Come take it. Gun vote, don't risk your rights. Palmetto State Armory. Yeah, we, we like our guns, but that's cool. I like my guns too. Got the dual pipes at the bottom, kind of like on the Fusion. Got to clean these wheels up. All I did was give this thing a quick bath, but I got to clean the inside, vacuum it, polish it, but it's not too bad. The leather's in pretty good shape. Um, I got some black uh, Clyde's leather repair. You can rub on that and it makes it look like brand new, man. The only thing I don't like about this car is it has a cheap window tint job done on it that's starting to peel and bubble like they do. But I mean, heck, this thing's clean. Other than just needing a vacuum. I mean, there's a damn sunshade back here. I, me, I always get excited about my sunshade. Y'all know that? Have y'all ever noticed that? <laughs> how, the, how the heck do you use it? Huh, I'll be darned. Pretty cool. Let's look at these tires. I can just see from the side that they look fairly new. Let's see what they look like. Oh yeah, I have lots of tread and they're more nice and even. Headlights don't look bad. Just that dad gum hood. Might, I, might could actually rotate these tires. These in the back feel a little bit newer 
in the front probably could use a good rotation. Anyway, there she is, y'all. 2008 Kia Optima V6 EX. Got 63 service records on the Carfax. Timing belt's been done. Tons of oil changes. Um, needs a little, you know, she needs a little polishing, but we'll get her there. And uh, she's going to be for sale. $39.95, I think, is what I'm going to ask for. It. I think that's a good price, and that'll sell quick. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys with next time. Peace.